How's it going everybody, Godbear here. Once again, thank you for clicking into one of my videos. We are back with our YTB Madden series. This is game four of our series, and I am so happy. Once again, I have to start off the video by sharing my appreciation and my gratitude to each and every one of you that are in this series. Of course, this channel or this series would be nothing without you guys being involved and becoming members to, of course, play with and or against me in this series. Right now, we will be having a tribute upgrades with certain players and then a position change with Dondre Welch. He is going from wide receiver to corner. So we dropped down his catching a little bit just to put it into some actual defensive stats because of course being a wide receiver, they were offensive stats so we needed to change that a little bit just to help him out so he's not a receiver out there playing on defense so we can of course just have that much better of a chance to actually make plays. And then our kicker who already has 99 kick power and 99 kick accuracy because you get 100 base building points it only takes 98 points to get your two attributes to max so of course he is going to go ahead and boost his speed for the majority of his attribute points he has and now we have a new member thought i'd do it this way that way you guys get to see the attribute points you get at the beginning and this man gave me free reigns to do whenever I wanted with his character and I decided to put him in the position that Dondre Welch just swapped out of so I maintain the two wide receivers on my offensive side which is of course much needed because I'm a scrambling quarterback who is trying his best to improve his passing accuracies which I need to play well to do so so if I can get out there and have as many weapons as possible that of course is going to increase my chances of becoming a better player and just doing better because they're gonna have a much higher possibility of getting open but now the Kansas City Chiefs turn to boost up their players and I wouldn't mind if you guys just completely forget to watch the videos, forget to comment down below where you want your tribute points allocated into your player because I just want to steamroll you guys. The series is 2-1 to one right now. The Ravens won the two opening games and the Kansas City Chiefs won episode 3 which was the previous video and we're hoping to get back to our winning ways because of course my quarterback is on the Baltimore Ravens so I'm going to be incredibly biased towards that team for this first season. And now the spin wheel which looking back at last video is 11 experience so 3 straight videos of 11 experience which is 3 likes and it goes to Dragon Elite the wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs and he's probably going to love that because he's kind of been neglected on the offensive side for the Kansas City and of course everyone wants their player to do well but that extra experience is just gonna be nice for him to boost up his player and punch punch he had 99 yards rushing last game and now he's gonna open up this video with a 95 yard rushing touchdown so he's already got about the same amount of yards as he did in the previous game so a hell of a start for him and we take the lead because we of course opened up the ball to open the game. And before we get too far into the video, I do want to remind you guys, go down and hit that thumbs up if you are enjoying the video so far and or if you're a member of the series to get the experience points from the likes in this video in the next game. And since we're on the discussion of members, if you would like to join the series, go down into the description. There is a player creation application. If you want to fill it out and comment it down below, you can join as well. It is rotation style with what team you will be placed on or best fit. The teams are balanced right now for the exception of the Ravens having a kicker. So for example, if somebody wanted to join and also be a kicker, you would be placed on the Chiefs roster because no team can have two kickers. Especially because if you want to be a kicker, you are also the punter because no need to have a kicker and a punter as two different members, you will just take the role of both those two positions. Another roster position that hasn't really been talked about much is the special teams kick and punt returner that is also one position that fills technically two locations but right now 
you see that Joshi Oof is trying to catch up and run away with the rushing lead in this series. He has been playing very well. You saw that he's been improving his agility tremendously with the levels that he's been currently leveling up. He now has 90 agility, which is insane. That's to the point of a normal player in Madden. And this is the YTB series. All the CPUs and a lot of our players still only have 50 agility. So this man nearly doubles that and it's kind of showing right now. He is just completely manhandling, playing a lot like a user controlled player, just cutting angles, just maneuvering around the Baltimore Ravens defensive guys and it is getting him into the end zone and busting off humongous gains if not for a touchdown and Alexander if you would please if you see my quarterback with the ball don't track me down just let me get whatever yards or scores I can get but no you had to shoestring tackle me and at least I still got a touchdown myself tossing this one down to punch punch who received it and went for the touchdown so this game is very close as we tie the ball game back up at 21 21 and I do want to reiterate that this is a friendly community between us of course all the members and involved and anybody that would like to join you of course would become a member but I praise and welcome friendly banter down in the comment section I've seen a couple of you throw out some jabs and I like to see it um, right now as Sean Toaster you are the most recent smack talker down in the comment section seeing that you were saying that you were gonna moss Conrad and you saw him just give you a simple response with K as he wants you to come out and try it and I might start throwing up some friendly banter and comments up on the video so you guys can see kind of a news feed of what you guys bring down in the comment section so if that's something you guys would like to see let me know down in that comment section I know I tell you guys to go down there a lot but that's kind of where this channel thrives and what I like the most about having a YouTube channel I could care less about the view count and the likes and whatever those are literally just numbers like I know I am a statistical person and of course numbers are nice to have in the high you know quantities but that's besides the point I have a lot of fun with a YouTube channel because of the comment section and the interaction between you guys hence for the YTB series being founded and created to of course get you guys involved in this channel but we've been rambling on so like I said if you guys would like to have that friendly chatter down in the comment section and that also be showcased in the videos just so we can add them rivalries and those heated battles that happen out here on this field as I finally get myself a humongous rushing touchdown I would really appreciate if this Baltimore Ravens team or just coach suggestions or whenever Madden decides to call would have more read options actually being played but Hey, a 92 yard rushing touchdown is phenomenal. That is a 14 point experience play because 92 yards is of course 9 experience right there. And then plus 5 for the touchdown of course is 14 experience and I absolutely loved that. I was just hoping that I wasn't going to get chased down by either of the two Chiefs defenders. And now that we are and have brought up Chiefs defenders once again. We have, of course, a 15th member in the new wide receiver, and we will have a new free safety in the next video, and unfortunately, it's the Chiefs' turn to receive the next member. So you get another defensive player that will go by the name of Crazy Hands. He wants to be a 6'5", fast, secure hands free safety which sounds terrifying coming from the opposing team's quarterback. I don't want anybody that tall, that fast, or that capable of picking my passes off. So of course, I just have to hope that he is in the wrong place at the right time 
or unaware or out of position of where I'm trying to locate my targets, have that be either Sean Mafia, the newly required man, Clive Parker, Justin the man, or out of the backfield in Punch Punch. I have a good selection of options, but now we're to the point that a lot of the offensive positions are full and defensive positions are needing to be filled, so things are going to get very close. You're seeing that this game is 42 to 42, so it sometimes comes down to very minuscule moments that end up either panning out or going bad and it holds the drive, you come away with no points. Um, speaking about points, I kind of feel bad for Cameron Gross, the kicker from the Baltimore Ravens, because he has yet to actually kick a field goal. He has made every single extra point, he's made a couple tackles because he is faster than all the CPU players that are out there on special teams so he can just track anybody down and go tackle them. But like this play right here, Justin the man, the tight end. If you would have blocked, ow. First, we'll talk about Justin the Man. He could have easily just not went full speed, slowed down a little bit, blocked Isaac Heron, and catapulted Sean Mafia into the end zone to take this game into overtime. And then immediately following that, just that insult to injury, Sean Mafia once again able to get a touchdown, but then it was barely overthrown. And when I say barely, I mean, Sean Mafia, could you have like extended your arms or your body, maybe possibly dove, or I don't even know if our players are capable of having those animations since we're so overall or what, but I will put that blame on my quarterback because I consider myself the captain of the offense. If anybody else feels like they can fulfill that role, which maybe it is punch plays because he is the focal point of the offense, but that's besides the point. I'm the quarterback. I'm supposed to be the field general of this offense. And despite having my highest attribute points into my deep accuracy at 80, it was an overthrown pass. So that kind of just hurt my feelings because that's my strongest point of my player creation. And it failed me. So again, back to the drawing board. The series is now tied at 2-2. And things have gotten tight. Things are going to get crazy. It's going to come down to, like I said, small plays are going to end up being big moments. It's going to come down to our player builds. Have that becoming a balanced player, a monstrous juggernaut in one aspect, or even a mediocre player because you have not yet watched one of the videos to put your attribute points into your players, kind of like Punch Punch. You are starting to get a lot of attribute points onto your player that need to be allocated to improve your overall and your player in general. So if you'd like to, be sure to comment down below if you are indeed watching this video and hence watched this far to see how your player actually did in terms of the experience earned and your levels grown. But that is besides the point. This is the conclusion of the video, so be sure to comment down below if you enjoyed and or smash that thumbs up. Next upload of YTB being Game 5 will be Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific, which is 4 p.m. Eastern, the standard time that we will be uploading this series unless we upload it within the week. At that point, it may be a random time and I will tweet out when I plan on uploading it. So if you do have a Twitter and are not following me already, be sure to go follow my handle is the same as my channel name being godbear g-o-d-b-a-e-r because we swapped the a and the e because i guess we're cool like that but anyways that's the end so hopefully you guys did enjoy until next time everybody godbear out